while designing syllabus for second language writing, we'll have to pay attention to some of its key essentials, some of its key components, which literature calls nuts and bolts. So these nuts and bolts vary, like um, range from topic selection, which topic we want our students to work on, whether in the classroom or at home or um, after the classroom or in the school, whether we would like them to work in pairs or groups. So these are some of the nuts and bolts which are important and which I would like you to think or learn as language teachers and realize their importance when you actually become language teachers in practical life. So it's important that you pay special attention to the needs assessment, the needs analysis which has been administered before, the kind of information you have gleaned through that needs analysis. Needs analysis allows us as language teachers to see what the students want, what they lack. And there are different questionnaires available in the literature which you can Google out and find out how to do, do that needs analysis because it will uh, require further detailed discussion which I may not be able to do justice with in this module. So we can do needs analysis almost on daily basis by uh, bringing in some five questions and asking response of those students. That can help students develop clear purpose. They, they find out a reason to be in the classroom. And the teacher also comes up with the purpose, the rationale, the logic why they are into the classroom. And they are actually lead to the development and establishment of clear, measurable, achievable course objectives. So if the course is without objectives, without uh, objectives which are measurable, which are achievable, it may not benefit to the students. So there are different, uh, like two important constituents of uh, the nuts and bolts of writing syllabus. The first one, of course, is the link between the teacher and the, the kind of contract between the teacher and the student. And the second is the operational framework, which means how you actually structure, how you actually sequence your methodology, your instructional techniques, and how you bring in aims, how you classify units, how you devise lesson plans, how you give assignments to your, and how assessment is actually done in the classroom, and what is the uh, assessment rubrics, and how it's made transparent to the students. Uh, then I would like you to think of uh, nuts and bolts in, the, in terms of uh, some topics which you can bring in in the classroom and these topics could be about controversial issues like gender issues, like global warming, like globalization, like uh, humanity, like immigration, like language rights, like multiculturalism or racism. So thematic approach can be useful where you don't have textbooks. When you have textbooks, of course, when you have board exams or when you have when you are preparing students for A level or O levels, then you will have to go uh, abide by their um, uh, prescribed curriculum. But of course, you can think of dedicating at least a day or a couple of hours to uh, to the nuts and bolts of syllabus design as language teacher, and where you can prepare students to write assignments and write them in multiple draft manner where they submit the first draft, receive the feedback, send it to the teachers, teacher gives the feedback, student receives the assignment with the feedback, incorporate the changes and resubmit. So this is how it becomes an ongoing continuous process where there is a contract between the student and the teacher and they see each other. 